from Germany, the latest in cars. With an ultra-modern, super-elegant body, it made a hit on its trial runs in Munich streets. Apart from its technical performance, it's just about the world's handiest automobile. Propelled by a diesel motor, it weighs three pounds. With a few drops of oil, it can travel for one hour. Prior to the war, German-made toys were famous the world over. Today, the occupying powers are encouraging the revival of this industry. If you wait till it's second-hand, you can buy it at double the price. Recovering from an injury, Bill Merritt of Canterbury, Britain's oldest miner, said this after he'd been awarded the British Empire Medal. Hello, Pop Merritt. Um, how's it feel to be honoured by the King? Well, I think it's a great honour. And uh, I think it's a great honour to the King to present the miners with a medal. And you think this is a good uh, honour for all miners as well as yourself? Yes, it's a credit to them. How long have you worked in the mines, Pop? 65 years. 65 years, a long yes. time. Yes, well, As a miner, Bill, you must be very proud. Yes, very proud of it. Well, Pat and want to congratulate you and say, well done, Bill. Yes. From Holland comes the story of a record in birth rates. Winning spot is the zoo at Amsterdam. It has only recently been open, but with all the new additions, the housing problem is already acute. There isn't a female to be seen without a youngster hanging on somewhere. The keepers say it's the surroundings that keep them fit, but the facts speak for themselves. New births are twice what they were in 1939. So far, all the kids have stayed at home, except Sam the sea lion. He's out to make a name all on his own. Oh, come on, slowcoach. In pouring rain, 4,000 spectators watch the king presenting new colours to Sandhurst's Royal Military Academy. Towards the end of the war, only tank corps officer cadets were training here. Today, it's once again the home of cadets of all arms. The new colours were consecrated by the Chaplain General. <laughs> Officer Cadet Henderson receives the standard from the King. <laughs> the heavy rain soon drenched the 700 men on parade. Ignoring the shelter of the covered saluting base, the King, in the uniform of a field marshal, took the salute in the open. 